the four W's outdoors. We are way more than just a fishing team. Hi guys, this is Willard Franklin with the 4W Fishing Team and the 4W is Outdoors. We out here in Centerville taking care of some of our feral hog problems. Take a look at, at probably our personal best. It's a bad son of a gun. He's almost six feet long. <laughs> so thanks for watching us. Enjoy the show. We're going to have some great footage on what happened and how we were able to take care of this hog in Texas. Everyone loves the parade. This is the Martin Luther King Parade in 2020, right before the world changed. Willard here with the 4W Fishing Team. We're going to make a quick introduction. We're going to post it on all our so yeah, social already. media. So let's start on the end with the other You're Willard. Willard Franklin IV. I know. Yeah, there's Wanda Franklin. Mary Carrie <laughs> Isabel Franklin. <laughs> Saki K. Jaden White. And the Captain 4W Fishing Team, Willard Franklin. Thanks for watching us, guys. We're going on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, all that stuff, and, and LinkedIn. Yeah. Thanks for watching us, guys. 4W Fishing Team 2020 Martin Luther King Parade was a great success. we see y'all next year. See you next year. Hi guys, this is Willard Franklin with the Ford Up Fishing Team. We always wear our life jackets. We're working out here in the intercoastal, all these ships. Please wear your life jacket. They make some big weights. You can be tossed overboard. Really simple. They only work if you work. 
complete realm like the four other fishing team challenge. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, this is Willard Franklin with the 4W Fisher Team. Today we like to talk about life jackets and life jacket safety. We wear a Type 5 inflatable every day. This is our go-to life jacket. That's how quick and easy it is to go on, like that. But we also carry, depending on the situation, a Type 1 for running offshore. This is our big one. We're going to run offshore. Our Type 2, we hardly ever use these. We like to use the Type 3s, which are here. Our everyday use, this is what we carry. But for us, we like our inflatables. Not many people know how they work. We will give you a quick demonstration of how they actually work. So here's one of our inflatables. Here's our cylinder, full core, and then over here, blow. So the way it works, first off, you fall in the water, this thing has a, a cartridge in it. It's like sheet rock. All right, we got a Flounder all dressed up now. We're gonna put the tuxedo on it. Get him ready for his part. All right, so what we're gonna do, this is a, our smallest flounder, and we're gonna butterfly him open. So, we make a cut straight down the middle, right to the bones, all right? And we just fillet it open, pretty simple. Sharp knife though, guys. Follow the rib cage. Look at that. What do you think about that, Chris? Oh man. Look at that. Same thing, other side. Right along the rib cage. Huh? He doesn't move. Man, that ain't my first rodeo. First, you got to be the catch flounder, Mr. Oh, yeah. Dowding Thomas. Look at that. You see? Just cut it right along the rib cage. Man. What do you think, Chris? Oh, man. Now, if I liked you, I'll turn it over and cut the rib cage out. Man. What do you think? Yeah. Then you come out. I'm going to do that with the big one. So look at that. Fill it up with your seasoning. Willard Franklin here with the Four W Fishing Team. This is where it all started three years ago, March 16th. We picked up this famous Mako 234 from Bass Pro Shop in Cabela's here in Pearland, Texas. This is our second stop at the Bass Pro Shop Tour, Bass Pro Shop in Cabela's. Stay tuned. We're going to make some more stuff happening. We're going to be traveling around five states. Four W Fishing Team, we have our foot on the gas, guys. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, this is Willard Franklin with the Texas Parks and Wildlife. Today we caught a 23 and a half pound redfish. It's right at 38 inches. We're going to show you how we're going to fillet it. You know, so we have our, our special saw today and, and the blade. We're going to take off the two fillets on the side. We're going to take the jaws out of them. We're going to cut the head off to make soup. And then we're going to take the backbone out. And so we're going to show you exactly how we do it. We're going, not going to have anything left over but this tail.
Thanks for watching the 4W's Fishing Team and the 4W's Outdoors. As you can see, we have our foot on the gas. More great action to come.